In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the four bearings inside of the diff. Um, all tools will be listed in the description section. Um, first thing we're going to do is remove the bumper. Two screws on top. Three screws below. Your front bumper will come straight off the front and we'll set that to the side. Uh, next, just to uh, make an installation each, we're going to go ahead and remove the hubs on each side. So we're going to undo the upper tie rod. And we're going to pull the lower hinge bolt. We're going to also use the Traxxas 4-way wrench here to remove the nut retaining the steering tie rod. We're going to pull the hub assembly straight off. We're going to repeat this for the other side. Next we're going to remove the upper shock bolts. Now there is a washer behind this bolt so just make sure you uh, don't lose that washer. Now, this was a Platinum Edition Slash, so what we're going to do is remove the bolts holding the tie rod sway links at the control arms. We're just going to let that set there. Uh, next, we're going to remove the four bolts that are retaining the uh, front shock tower. They're located here, 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 and here. Go ahead and remove those. The upper two bolts are shorter than the lower two. still use the same wrench.
once you remove those four screws, the front shock tower will lift straight up. And just remove that, set that to the side. Uh, next we're going to remove this bolt that's holding the front hinge pin holder in place. set that off to the side and then next we're going to remove these two screws in the bottom of the chassis now once you remove these two screws the differential will be free from the chassis um, so just make sure to hold on to it now we're going to go ahead and just lift that assembly straight up, set the chassis to the side. Um, these two halves are free now, you just simply slide it apart and remove the diff halves for now. Um, we're going to go ahead and replace the bearings around the front differential. Uh, to do that we're going to have to remove the dry shafts. There's a set screw in the yoke, just remove the set screw which does go all the way through the yoke. Go ahead and pull that yoke straight off. And we'll go ahead and pull the other side off as well. Pull that straight up. Yoke will come right off. Now, these bearings, um, they may be a little stiff. Uh, you may want to use a flathead screwdriver just to kind of prime off real gently. Just be careful not to uh, mar the plastic. We're going to go ahead and just prime this bearing off. And just work it side to side. And just take your time getting it off. These bearings on the differential are actually two different sizes. Um, the sizes are listed in the description below uh, they can only go on one way so you don't have to worry about these uh, mixing these bearings up uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace these bearings with Boca bearing yellow seal ceramic bearings we're gonna go ahead and put these back on the larger thicker one actually does go on the gear side the metal side slide the bearing on and we're gonna go ahead and put the yoke back on um, just line it up with the flats and slide that all the way back on and we're going to go ahead and put in our set screw again slides all the way through and tighten that up and just tighten it up until it's flush with the yoke we're going to go ahead put our bearing on the other side slide that all the way down. We're going to go ahead and put our yoke on the other side. Reinstall our set screw. Make sure it's flush. So the diff is done. Now we have to change the bearings for our output shaft here. And same thing, there's a set screw pulling the output gear on. Just go ahead and take that, pull it out, and just slide it off the shaft. Um, the shaft will push back into the diff case. Remove the inner bearing and just use a wrench and just press the outer bearing out. We're going to go ahead and reinstall our ceramic bearings into the diff case. Now go ahead, take your bevel gear, slide it in from the inside out. Go ahead and put your output shaft back on and it will line up with the flats on that bevel gear. Go ahead and put your set screw back in. Go ahead and tighten that up until it's flush.
Uh, we're going to go ahead and just put our diff halves together. And this can only go in one way uh, due to the bearings being two different sizes. So if it doesn't fit, all you have to do is just flip the assembly over and check for a proper alignment. It should slide right in. Um, once you get that in, go ahead and put the other diff half back on. And we can spin that, make sure everything feels good and it's free. And we're going to go ahead and reinstall this in our chassis. Now we're going to go ahead and just hold the, get the two halves together and just slide it straight down into your chassis piece. And we're going to go ahead and reinstall these two screws in the bottom. Just make sure you hold everything together. And just finger tight for now, we're going to go ahead and put our front hinge pin plate back on. Now this does only go on one way. There is a flat side and then a slightly curved side. We're going to put the flat side towards the bottom of the chassis. Slide that back on. And there's a single bolt in the middle. We're going to go ahead and tighten up this bolt. And tighten up the two bolts in the bottom of the chassis. Go ahead and lay this flat. We're going to reinstall our front shock tower. And all it does is just slide straight down from the top in between the two diff halves. And we're going to secure that with the four screws. Now remember the shorter screws go in the top, longer screws go in the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and reinstall those. All right, next we're going to reinstall our sway bar and just kind of work this around the shock tower here. Reinstall the lower mounts on the control arms. And be sure, if you have any screws going into plastic, just be careful not to over tighten those screws. Um, the plastic will strip quite easily and then you'll be replacing that plastic part. All right. We're going to go ahead and reinstall our upper shock bolts. Make sure you put the washer between the shock and the shock tower. Um, same thing, just make sure you don't over tighten it. Um, and make sure that all the tie rods and the drive shaft are behind the shock when you install it again. Alright, next we're going to reinstall our hubs. Um, these are marked. Uh, there is a L on the front side with the Traxxas label 
um, and same thing, there will be an R for the right hub. We're going to go ahead reinstall the right hub. You have to re-index the drive shafts. These will only fit in one way, so you just go ahead and slide it down. Um, at this point, you probably want to put a little bit of grease or some kind of lubricant in there to make sure they, they slide in and out freely. We're going to go ahead and put our lower hinge bolt back in. Slide that through, tighten it up. We're going to put our upper tie rod back on. Um, you may want to put a, a medium strength Loctite on these bolts just to make sure they don't back out for all the pieces. All the screws going into aluminum. So I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite on this before I put it back in. Go ahead, reinstall the upper tie rod. Go ahead and put your steering camera link back on. Now, these screws I've already Loctited into the hub. Uh, when you go to tighten the, the nut back on, you're probably going to want to put a an Allen wrench on this screw just to make sure it doesn't back out on you when you tighten it up. So we're going to go ahead put this nut back on and go ahead and use our Traxxas four-way wrench to tighten that back up. You can tighten that up until it completely bottoms out. We're going to go ahead and move on to the left side. Same thing. You might want to apply a little bit of grease. I've already applied a, a silicone lubricant to these, so I'm not going to reapply, but go ahead and index those. Slide those back together. We're going to go ahead and do the lower hinge pin. upper tie rod I put a little bit of Loctite on here Attach the steering. All right, we can go ahead and put the front bumper back on. Uh, just needs to slide in from the front and it's going to index into the front diff case. So go ahead and slide that in. We're going to line up our three lower screws. We're going to just finger, finger tighten these lower three just to get them started. And then go ahead and tighten those up. And reinstall the upper two screws. There you go. 
your front assembly is ready to reinstall onto your chassis. Uh, you have successfully installed yellow seal, bokeh bearing, ceramic bearings.